hey, what's up team? We're going to solve a very popular exam problem using the Van Hoff equation, and this is it. If the equilibrium constant K is 990 at 800 Kelvin, what temperature will produce an equilibrium constant of a million? One times 10 to the six. And this is the equilibrium reaction right here, and we're given the standard change in enthalpy equals negative 180 kilojoules per mole. So we have data on the equilibrium constants and temperature, so therefore we need to use the Van Hoff equation, and this is it in its integrated form. I've derived this a number of different ways. You can check that out if you want. The links are in the description. But anyways, at this point, we're going to plug everything in. So we have a K1 and a T1. We have a K2, so it's asking what our T2 is. And we have our equation there, so we can literally plug everything in which is what I got. This is the K2, this is temperature two that we want. We want the ch standard change in enthalpy to be in joules per mole. So this is given in kilojoules, so we want to convert it into joules because we want to use the R that has units of joules in, so joules cancel out. And at this point, we just want to solve for T2. So what I did was I multiplied both sides by R, and I evaluated this here and left and divided by delta H, this part here on both sides. And then if we solve for T2, we get a value of 636 Kelvin. It's less. The temperature's decreased. Does that make sense? Well, let's have a look at it. We have this exothermic reaction. It's exothermic because this is negative, which means energy is being released as heat. If the temperature decreases, then we need to shift the reaction in the way to minimize the disturbance. If we have less tem temperature, we need to go right so that we go towards this side, the side of more energy as heat. Does this make sense? Well, the equilibrium constant is a ratio of the activities of the products over the reactants, and K1 is 990, K2 is a million. In order for K2 to be larger, we need more products and less reactants, so we're gonna shift this equilibrium to the right as we say. So this is Le Chatelier's principle in action. We shift to the right to produce more energy when less energy is available due to lower temperature. Right on, y'all. I have many other exam problems on Van Toff equation and many, many, many other aspects of thermodynamics. Hang in there. The more problems you do, the better you'll do. You can survive this course. Hang in there. You can do it. See you in the next one. Cheers.